Sally Ricky and Dan to try ah, and fool you. Okay. okay. If you get the correct answer, you score a point, of course. Mm -hmm. You choose one of theirs, you give them a point. Okay. Here is your question and your four possible answers. What was the name of the real life whale whose story was published in a magazine in 1839, which was thought to have inspired Herman Melville to write Moby Dick? What's the name of that whale? One of these answers is correct Richard <laughs> the Whale. <laughs> You gonna stick at that? <laughs> <laughs> Was it William Power? I didn't. Yeah, okay. We need to go no further, right? Was it Mocker Dick? <laughs> oh my word. Or was it Sea Monster? <laughs> so Richard the Whale, William Power, Mocker Dick, or Sea Monster? OK, so we can quickly discount Richard the Whale. Well, that's a really nice name for a whale. <laughs> I think we can... Yeah, we can discount What's wrong that. wrong with you? I also think we can discount Mockadick. <laughs> really? OK. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Sounds like a coffee. Um... <laughs> <laughs> really? Where, where are you getting your coffee? Somewhere more exciting than you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Now, sea monster seems too simplistic. But would a whale have a surname? <laughs> is, is there, like, William Power? I just, that seems the most sensible. But yeah. to give a whale a surname like that, like, like, like that, that's, that's like a full human name, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There he is, William Power. OK, I'm going William Power. You're going to go William Power.